Hello, I'm Jean Hartley. I'm Professor of Public Leadership in the Business School here at the Open University. Hello, my name is Engin Eisen. I'm a Professor of Citizenship in Politics and International Studies Department here at the Open University. We're here together because we're collaborating on a really interesting and exciting programme of work uh, about citizenship and governance. And so we're exploring the changing relationships, the shifting relationships uh, between citizens, between states, but also between markets as well, because um, all three elements are really important in uh, a world in, in which um, different stakeholders are contesting what's important, what are priorities and who decides. In terms of citizenship and governance, of course, what brings the two together is just so significant in our uh, time, in our age, is that there was a post-war settlement and, uh, after the war where what it means to be a British citizen was practically settled on a bundle of civil, political and social rights. As part of civil rights, mm -hmm. uh, British citizens were promised uh, privacy, um, a certain distance from the state, the ability to govern themselves, freedom of conscience and so on. In terms of political rights, a democracy, uh, elections, rule of law, and in terms of social rights, that was also part of the bundle uh, that there were certain public services such as NHS, BBC, if not a welfare state. Mm. Today, it seems all three are up in the air and being renegotiated. That makes today doing research on the relationship between how we govern ourselves citizens and the meaning of citizenship takes on an entirely different the urgency. Yes, and to add to that, from the governance field, we're also noticing um, a shift away from the post-war settlement because the state is both too small to handle the big global challenges. Uh, we can think of climate change or we can think of migration from Africa, uh, we, can, uh, we can think of economic recession, where actually uh, an individual state cannot resolve uh, the issues at, at hand, but it requires a, a multiple stakeholders in the state sector, the private sector, and in the uh, community and voluntary sector. But at the same time, the state is too large for some of the smaller issues, which is about people feeling that they want to be in control of their own destiny, uh, uh, not be passive recipients of um, decisions from uh, councils or from the NHS uh, or, or whatever. So we're living in a world with a lot of debate, a lot of contest around decisions and the allocation of resources. So actually citizenship and governance is a really exciting topic to be involved in at the moment.